I just want to say something that if you're watching this video, watch it all the way through to the end. This is the first time I've been along this track and you're going to be blown away, blown away by the view that I'm going to get at the end of this track. So stay with me, watch this massive tip on time management. Let's keep going. I'm actually walking a little bit through the bush here on my way to the beach and I'm tackling a subject that's come up regarding time management. The question is, what is one thing on time management you wish you should have been doing? A secret that if you just knew this, it would just, at least if nothing else, give you a chance to calm down and to breathe a little bit and to start to process and understand where you're at right now. Because with time management, for a lot of the time, you said to me, what's the biggest challenge for most people? It's overwhelm. It's just being completely overwhelmed with the situation they're in. And there's so much going on. You're being hit from the left with emails. You're being hit from the right with text messages. Someone's giving you work to do. There's mail at home that's piling up. You've got the phone ringing. Somebody's sending you WhatsApp messages. Maybe you're liaising or communicating through Facebook and social media. And so you've got to get your head around that as well. There's just so much information, so much coming at us from left, right and center these days that people just get completely overwhelmed. So what can you do to deal with that? And what can you do from a time management perspective to make sure that you don't find yourself in a situation where you're stressed, people are pissed off with you because you're not getting the work done that you're supposed to be getting done. You can't get things in the right order. You can't prioritize things. And you just get to the end of a week and just think, crikey, what happened this week? Why is it I've got no further? Or why is it there seems to be more stuff on my plate? Or why is it I'm just feeling frustrated and I just can't seem to get anything done at all? So let's talk about this one word, one simple word. Please write this down downloading and you might wonder what I mean by that well the concept of downloading I love because it means to take whatever's in your head two things you've got to download basically you've got to take whatever's in your head and get it on paper and the other thing is you've got to gather everything around you and put it into one place now that might sound crazy but if you think about it if you walk through your house your apartment wherever you live I bet you've got magazines lying around you've got notes that you've left yourself you've got reminders of stuff that you've got to get done there's probably a package to be delivered or uh, something that you need to pass on to somebody else you've got work sat there piling up in the corner that you might need to work through as well there's things if you parent there's probably stuff to do with your kids that you need to get in place as well and the trouble is there's so many visual distractions there's so many things clothes lying over there yeah, you know the the bit of the garden furniture that needed to be fixed and it's lying a screw lying there and some pens lying over there and some magazines that they just it's everywhere the challenge that most people have is that there's too much clutter around so downloading is the concept of decluttering now you can use the same word and you can actually declutter if you prefer to use it that way for me you could combine the two and you can do a physical declutter and a mental download and that might be the way to remember this so essentially i mean i'm here look how beautiful it is around me here right imagine that was my home and there's stuff everywhere so you gather everything together and you might want to give this a go so if you're watching this right now and you're not at home when you get home tonight what i'm going to ask you to do is grab a black bin liner one of these black bin liners maybe a recyclable one if you want to be environmentally friendly and essentially what you do is you go around your house and you put everything into that that's one way to do it it doesn't matter what it is magazines pens newspaper clippings uh, some stuff that you had to get fixed uh, some notes from the kids the kids toys if you've got children whatever it is mail you just put it all into one place that's one way you do it you declutter because the thing about decluttering is, it's a physical decluttering, but it's also a mental decluttering as well. So you're gathering it all into one place. So you might want to decide to put it on a desk. Uh, I'm not suggesting you put it out here in the outback, <laughs> but you, you've got to put it somewhere. And then the whole point of this exercise is once it's in one place, you're going to then have to apply a system to that, i.e. you're going to have to start to work through it. Basically, 
prioritize things. Now that's not the purpose of this video. This video is purely to get all the mess, all the stuff that's going on around you physically or in your head and get it into one place. And then you're gonna to have to have a direction. The same way I've got to decide on what my direction is. Look, I've got a path that way, I've got a path that way, and I've got a path that way. It's the first time I've come down this route. Now I'm going to the beach. Now I'm going to assume that this path continues on to that path. Well, life is no different. When you gather everything together in one place, you're then going to have to decide what's your priority. Now, we haven't got to that, and that's another conversation for another video, but based on projects, based on priority, based on to-do lists, based on what goals you've set, you're going to have to decide how much of that decluttering, the stuff there, is essential, non-essential, how much is important, how much is urgently important, and what needs to be got done now. So that's really important to remember. So one of the reasons that you're feeling stressed is because there's too much stuff. Get it all into one place. That gives you a chance to breathe. And then you can at least separate it into different categories and start to prioritize it. So that's the first thing. Now, parallel to that, the concept of downloading is bringing whatever's in your head and putting it onto paper. So the decluttering, by the way, can also include electronic decluttering. So that means going into your in-tray and maybe categorizing everything. So you might have a whole bunch of emails that are there. And one of the things that I do is basically create folders in my electronic inbox. And as stuff comes in, you can set up rules on your in, in information coming in, your emails coming in. And I send those emails to different folders. And that allows me to categorize. It gives me a chance to declutter meaning that it's not all just one big mass of emails. It's going into different partitions, different groups, different categories, whatever phrase you want to use. And that then enables you to basically keep that information in that folder. So whenever, you know, previously when I used to do this, I was like, oh my gosh, where's that information? Where's that information? Where's that information? And it, I'd have to go through it. But now what I've got is a system that parks emails from my PA into one folder, emails from one particular business project into another one, emails from people I'm starting new opportunities with into another one and don't get confused. So that is a decluttering. The concept of downloading is where basically I take all my ideas, all the stuff that's going on, got to do this, got to do that, got to do this, got to do that. I take all of that and I get a piece of paper and I just download it into one place. Because the thing about time management is half the time we're going, I've got to get through that, must do that, must do that as well. Now, don't get me wrong. I do use electronic devices, and in fact, I have different apps that I use for this. But the main thing is if you can get it down with a blank piece of paper and you're feeling stressed, you sit there and you just get your pen out and you go, right, yep, there's this to be done, 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 there's this to be done. And you just, conversations that you've had, information that's come at you, ideas, thoughts, emails, whatever it is from different people, gather that information, get it down onto paper, and then start to categorize it. That's what I want you to do next. So the concept of downloading is similar to decluttering, except we're taking the ideas and we're taking them from our head now instead of the physical things, and we're putting them down. Now, of course, you can link that to emails, you can link that to messages you've had. I would do the same thing, by the way, with your phone messages and text messages. If you've got a backlog of WhatsApp messages, if you've got a backlog of emails, if you've got a backlog of text messages and voice messages, listen to them, catalog them, get them down, and then they're all in one place. And if you see here, I'm just about to arrive at the beach. Hi there. So, look at that. How beautiful is that? So, even before I left this morning, what happened was I basically had a whole bunch of stuff come at me on WhatsApp, and I made a note that I want to address certain things in there as soon as possible. The rest can be part because it's non-essential. And when you do that, it gives you the opportunity to enjoy this. This is where you want to be managing your time. On a beach, in the sun, somewhere else in the world, knowing everything is decluttered and downloaded. It's the first thing to do, get the stress out of your body and give you a chance to breathe and start the process getting your things done as soon as possible, efficiently and with passion. And you let go of the things you don't want to do and you start to focus on the things that you really want to do. I'm going to sign out now, go for a walk along the beach. It's Rose signing out.